Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I gotta get this. Oh my gosh, how much is it? Oh, I can afford this. Gosh, I gotta get this dress. All right, three hundred and fifty dollars. It's not that much. All right. Oh my gosh, my dress is here. Hello there, ma'am. Your packages are here. Uh, all right. Here's the first one. There you go. And here's the second one. All right, see you later. Thanks, Mr. Mailman. All right. Oh my gosh, my dress. Wait, what is that? Dear Doris Sanders, Hooben Electric Corporation has charged you for your use of our electric services. However, in the past year you have not been paying your bills. We've decided to sum your payments to $1,600.34? Please pay this bill today or else your electricity will be cut off? Thank you! What kind of message is this? I don't have enough money for this. What am I going to do? Hey, why did the lights go out? What's going on? Oh my gosh, my laptop's on. Hello there, Dora Sanders. As you know, a lot of things have been happening in the past few minutes. Huh. Electricity's gone out. People are worried. Can't leave their rooms. Huh? Hmm. Well, you may have received an electric bill lately. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, you remember that mailman that <gasps> gave you those packages? Well, he's been dealt with. <laughs> All I really want to say is, well, your selfishness and self-ambition <laughs> has really brought a lot of grievance upon people. And I have to say this. If you don't pay the electric bill, mm -hmm. the next hour, one person will die. Oh my gosh! Following that, another person will continue right after mm -hmm. every single Oh my day gosh! So you can pay the bill. She's oh, terrible! Dora, Dora. If only you knew. Your decisions impact others. Anyway, toodaloo. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I gotta get out of here. Oh, I can't open the door. What's wrong? It still won't open. What's going on? I can't open the door. Oh, lights back on. But not for long. <laughs> What's going on? Where are we? Not a lot. Hmm, just turn this on. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, you got me tied here. Well, we 
Let's just say your neighbor, you know, Dora Sanders. She's very caring of her fellow roommates. <laughs> Go! Well, I can't do that now, can I? All I have to do is put these prongs in and uh, you'll be off. you called me you said you absolutely hated me I know I know I know but please she hang up it's all my family right there <laughs> I can't do this anymore nobody will help me <laughs> I'm getting a call hello yes is I, Dora Sanders. You think you the guy that killed the man? Yes, and it was all your fault. What do you want me to do? I want you to pay your electric bill. I can't, I can't, I'm t I can't. If you can buy that dress for $350, I'm sure you can fork over the cash, Dora. I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't have the money. My family won't help me. Please, just stop. You should have thought about that, Dora. You should have saved your money. But you didn't, did you? I, I know I didn't. I didn't. Please don't do this. When one bad apple falls out the tree, the good ones fall with it. All right, all right. Okay, hold on. I don't have $1,600. Maybe I could pay you over time. You had your whole life to do that. Oh, please stop. Please just stop. Just stop doing this. I can't stop what you started, Dora. Just admit it. It's all your fault. All your selfishness and self-ambitions and your greed and inhumanity. It's all just quelled up inside and come against you, hasn't it? You're right. You're right about everything, but just stop. Just stop, please. No, Dora. It won't stop. Uh, see you soon, Dora. <laughs> 911, what's your emergency? Hello, um, so this room is all locked. And I heard in the room next door, I heard, I heard something going on. 
Somebody's screaming. Where are you? I, I'm, I'm at a hotel. I, I, I can't remember what it's called. My mind is so clear. It, it's just, I, I can't think. All right. All right. We'll track your location, all right? Okay. Stay on the line. Okay. So tell me, is anyone hurt? I, I don't know. I heard someone screaming really loud in the room next door. Okay. And you can't get out your room? Yeah, they're, they're all electronically... Um, you... They're all electronic. You have to open them with your ID card. I, I can't open it. Okay, okay. Just sit tight. Also, the, also the power's out. The power's out in all the rooms. Okay. All right, we're sending a unit on the way. Just hold tight. All right, the hostage situation is up here. We got to get in there. You. We got to get up those stairs. Follow me. All right, let's move. Here's the control board to open the door. <laughs> what the heck happened over there? Sheriff, they got electrocuted. The two guys that came over with me to check out the hotel hostage situation. We need more forces. The sheriff is here. We came here as soon as we could. I came here as soon as I could. Sir, there's a hostage situation in the hotel. I sent some men to go in and through the door, and there's an electric trap that killed me. Alright. We're getting more men. We're gonna storm the building. Okay. How do you do, young lady? <laughs> mm. That's good. Mm, my favorite part. Mm, she's still asleep. My darling. <laughs> Wake up. What are you doing? What are you doing? Not a lot. Well, actually, do you know who Dora Sanders is? Oh, no, I don't. I don't. Your fellow roommate. Well, let's just say that she's left you a parting gift. What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't have much time to say anything. It's not enough time in this world for that, especially for you. No, no, it's not. Such a life short lived. Alright, this is the governor's office. Hey, thank you. Hey, uh, Madeline, why don't you go and uh, hang out with uh, Sophia? Okay, I need the governor. Hey, so what's up, Sheriff Liam? Uh, you disappoint me in every way. Uh, just know that I wouldn't support you in an election at all. Hey, well, it's not about that right now. What's going on over there in that hostage situation? Well, first of all, I went and sent some forces down over there. Uh, let's just say it hasn't been pretty. Hey, well, well, I mean, what can I do? Well, there's a lot you can do by increasing our police force right now, but as it is, uh, six of our men have already died. One big explosion. Oh, okay. So what are we looking at? We're looking at a terrorist situation here? No. No, Mr. Governor. We don't know what it is. As it is, it's a hostage situation. And we don't have a bomb squad in our police force. Oh, well, I mean, we can fix that later. But right now, I want to know, uh, 
what, what are you doing to fix this problem? I mean, what's going on? A lot is going on, Mr. Governor. We're being told that there's being electrical executions. Oh, yeah. And it's bad, too. Couple of them. Okay, I'm gonna issue a statewide emergency and we're gonna get this done. All right, I want that guy and I want him on TV. I want him all over the place, on every network. And I want this guy to show that this state will not allow some despicable person like this to do this. You're okay, you Just know, we might be primary next election. Uh, well, okay, we'll see about that. Just say that she's left you a parting gift. What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't have much time to say anything. It's not enough time in this world for that. Especially for you. Stop! 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 Hey, the lights are on again. Why, hello there, my friend. Hey, who are you? Oh, no one. Just probably the last person you'll ever see in your life. Hey, what are you doing? Any last words? You better let me go right now. Could I have this thing to beat you up, man? Oh, that's alright. I've been beaten up enough times in my life. Hmm. <sighs> Fortunately for you, this is probably going to be the last time you're beaten up. Hmm. Alright, man. Let me go. Hmm. I wish I could do that. Well... The last word is always the most famous one. Stop, man. Just stop. Hmm. I wish I could. I just can't stop until I get enough, if you know what I mean. Well, anyways, to the loo. Someone in the lobby. Sir, for the rescue team. I'm in here, I need help. Oh, now, Dora, don't tell them that. What are you doing here? That's for me to know and you to find out. Stop, stop. Stop. Sanders. Oh, what? Do you know who I am? I don't know who you are. I'm Preston Hall, regional officer at Uben Electric. <laughs> Why are you doing this to people? It's innocent people. Why? Because, Dora, it's to teach you a lesson. Girls like you, spending all their money. No care in the world, only for themselves. Alright, stop. stop. Stop involving others. I can't, Dora. I have to finish what you started. Alright, well, Dora. This is where it ends, for both you and me. <laughs> uh, to start this machine. Oh, look how wonderful it is, Dora. You see this? The cause of hmm, three deaths, <laughs> including your mailman. You sick! Well, Dora, it's about time to say bye bye. Not so fast. And who are you? Cheerfully, I've come to say.
save Dora Sanders. Mm. <laughs> well, let me deal with you first. Uh, you know, I have trained in fighting for many years. Bring it. Mm, is that all you got? <clears throat> all right. Now you've done it. <clears throat> something. Hmm. Not so strong, are you, Mr. Policeman? taken care of now. It's all over, man. Everything's gonna be okay now. Thank you. Alright, is this the body? Yeah, we think it is. Yeah. They, they ID'd it as Preston Hill. Hmm, interesting. It's the same guy I found on this piece of evidence here. It says Preston Hill Regional Officer. I had that guy on my watch list for absolute creeps. Man, that's her guy, Preston L. All right, this one's done. Case closed. Hello, my fellow citizens. Today, I'm announcing my campaign for governor. This governor that we've had has had bad leadership, defunding our police. Removing our police force squadrons, it's terrible. We didn't have a bomb squad during the electric bill crisis, which left four individuals dead, electrocuted. These were young lives. One old man. This was a terrible tragedy, and it was all because of the governor not funding our police. Now is the time for change. Now is the time to act. Elect me as your next governor. Thank you very much. And anyone else want to talk about what happened during the electric bill incident? Well, I was stuck out in the main lobby. I was, I was right outside my friend's room. I was going to go in and hang out with him, but I heard the execution. I know. What about you, Sheriff Liam? Well, I led operations to 
stop this terrible incident in. We couldn't get in there in time. To save as many lives as possible, we lost six men in the course of trying to... One of them was a good friend, but... I know, it's okay, it's okay. <clears throat> but <clears throat> all that matters is that all the 49 other residents were kept from experiencing this terrible, dreaded, terrible incident. I know. Well, I wouldn't be able to get through any of this at all. You know, I used to be a... I just used to be a, a self... Selfish person, yeah. And and I, the electric bill incident helped me realize, you know, you know, everything about life, you know, mm. you know about God, and you know, I just I can't I can't go back to my old way of living now. Yeah, but we all get through those times sometimes. And uh, once I was a. Uh, questioning my beliefs you know I've seen a lot of bad things in my life and uh, you know if it wasn't for my faith in Christ I wouldn't have gotten through all of it I know I've been through a lot too through this time all, that, all we need to know is that we're all a part of one plan yes and my new plan is to become the next governor of this great state None of this is ever gonna happen again. And I'm gonna make sure of it. Thank you. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Now you do well now. <laughs> <laughs>